Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Yep, so you may remember this old uniframe that we've had laying around over there at the old shop. We're going to pull all this out and start making some, some storage racks. So the plan is to do something very similar to this old scaffolding using that uniframe. That means the first thing we're going to want to do is get a count of all our different lengths so we can figure out the best way to use this stuff up. Yeah, I think we'll be able to make a fair amount of racks with what we've got here. All right, so we've got these arranged by length here, and I want to minimize my cuts and maximize my length. So I'm going to do the math here real quick in 10 foot. Yeah, when you're set up to do something like this, it's usually always pretty much easier to mark them all out first. So that I'm not dragging them around, moving them more than once or twice. You set up to cut them right here. Now we'll just do that seven more times. Well, let's get these over here by the welding table. Alright, so now we're just going to take a minute and get these things cleaned up a little bit before we weld them up. Alright, now we're just going to take a minute and get these things laid out. I'm going to pull 16 inches on center. All the way up. That should give us five cross members, and you can see I've already taken time to grind off the paint. So we'll finish marking these all out. And then it'll be time to start welding these things up. First time we'll be welding in the new shop. Alright, so here you can see I've taken time to cut us a bunch of two and a half inch pieces half inch all thread. We're going to use those as our to mount our cross braces. So we're going to weld these on right here. Looks like we're ready to weld. See how this is going to work. It's basically just like a scaffolding setup. We've got our crossbar, and here you can see where we welded on these pieces of all thread so that we can just fasten our nut on there. Yep, so we were able to get a couple of these welded up. They're about 10 foot long. But I had a couple other pieces left over, and we welded up some other racks over here. Let me show you. Yeah, here's another rack system that we welded up using the rest of those leftover parts and pieces from that uniframe. It'll work pretty good for a while in here. Hey, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you haven't already done so, be sure to click subscribe and come on back next week. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.